Hey guys. God. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Um. Okay, I need to calm down. In today's video, I'm gonna do something that I never do. Well, I've never done before on my channel. But like, I'm just so excited. <laughs> my God. So I'm gonna be reacting to Ariana Grande's new album. Thank you, next. She just dropped her album. Like it's literally midnight right now. That's why the lighting is so bad. Cause usually when I film, I use natural lighting so you could see me better or whatever. But it's midnight and obviously there's no sun out. Whatever, whatever. So the album came out. Let's just get into it, okay? Oh my god. Let's do this. First song is Imagine, which I already know that song. Nobody knows us in the car like squeak, quick, 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 and pause. Trip, 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 and cut. Imagine a world like that We don't like that to um, sleep on your chest and you Imagine Imagine That's a great song Track number two is Needy I'm so excited. So I heard snippets from this because Ariana posted them like on Instagram and stuff and this song is so good. I mean, I've only heard like part of it, you know? Oh, oh my god, I can't wait. I look like an idiot because I'm just like freaking out. I love it. This sounds like Thank You Next. Facts. This is the part I know. This sounds like, hold up. This ending sounds like Honeymoon Avenue. So pretty, what the hell? Needy was beautiful. She's cute and we love her and we appreciate her. But now we're moving on to number three, track number three. This is NASA. Okay. I'd rather be alone tonight. You could say I love you. I just use my covers to stay warm tonight. Think I'm back on my this place. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what she's saying. I'm gonna need space. I think that's what she's saying. <laughs> Nessa was cute, but like, wasn't my favorite. Let's just move on to number four Bloodline. This sounds like focus. I like this one. This is good. that one so basically bloodline is no strings attached she don't want you in the bloodline she just want to have a good time i'm here for it i'm here for it okay track number five fake smile oh my god is this gonna be a sad song i heard this part on instagram another night another party hear her like she sounds so sad what the hell but it's so smooth oh my gosh she's singing like so quietly and it's just like i like it oh, but it's so sad but i like it yeah I like this one. She was talking about all the things that she's been through in the past year and that like she just can't like fake another smile. Like she's been through so much. Like, you know, obviously the Manchester thing was like two years ago, but like obviously you're still not over that. And she wrote Sweetener about that. So I guess she's talking, if she's not talking about Manchester, like she's talking about Mac Miller, rest in peace. Oh my God, it's so sad. And you know, like Pete Davidson and everything that's been happening to her and like why should she hide her feelings? Obviously she's been through some hardships. So obviously she needs to like show that. Like you don't need to be, like she's allowed to show her feelings, you know, like she's human. Just because she's famous doesn't mean she doesn't have feelings, you know? And it sounded like so smooth and like, ooh, you know what I mean? And it was so sad, but it was so like jammy. You know what I mean? Next song, track number six, Bad Idea. 
This does not sound like an Ariana Grande song. Like, what? This sounds so different. Okay. Oh, I love this. Hold up. I just looked up the lyrics of all these songs so I could like look at the lyrics while I listen. Sorry, that was my cat. Wait, I'm really confused. It started off like really like and then like this like violin ending is just mad weird. Like what? songs do that. I hate when they like use like a deep voice. Oh, that's so scary. Bad idea was a bad idea. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I love her. I love her. But not my favorite. Least favorite so far. Let's just move on. This is makeup. I like this one. I like this one. Ooh, more. I like this one. I like it. This song is cute. She was talking about some crazy things, but she basically just likes to make up with the guy, you know? She likes to get into arguments just to make up, you know? And I feel her. She's being mad petty for no reason. So now we're gonna listen to Ghostin, which is like, everybody's talking about it or whatever, and I'm really excited. I know you hear me when I cry. I try to hold it in the night. It's so sad. About Pete and Mac. No way. No way. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I wish he no, no. <gasps> no. I'm no. She said, Oh, I wish he were here instead. <laughs> he just comes to visit me when I'm dreaming every now and then. No, no. <laughs> That was beautiful and that was so sad okay so this song <laughs> this song is about mac and pete okay so she's with pete and she's like crying over mac and she's like saying to pete like oh like i'm sorry like i'm putting you through this like i have so much baggage you know like she's just saying how he she just wishes that mac was here and that she knows that that hurts pete or whatever i don't know but it is so sad this song is beautiful. This is my favorite song so far. So moving on to like hopefully a less sad song. This is track number nine in my head. Here's the thing. You're in love with a version of a person that you've created in your head that you are trying to but cannot fix. That phone call, I, I felt it. I felt it. You talking to me? They're talking to me. Okay. Painted a picture. I thought I knew you well. Facts. This is my favorite one. You know why? Because I relate. This song was written for me. I already know. This song is amazing. Amazing. Life changing. In my head is about falling for somebody that you think you know, but you really don't know them. And then you just like created this person in your head. And it turns out that they're the complete opposite of what you thought they were. And bro, I feel that. The song was about me, you know, I relate. And then like her vocals, like forget about the words or whatever, but like the music and like the vocals, like her, her voice, oh, just, she gets me every time, I just can't. Next song is number 10 and it's Seven Rings. I'm kind of mad Seven Rings is in track number seven. Like, why didn't she do that? If I like it, that's what I get. 
Now moving on to another banger. Thank you, next. Track 11. Last song of the album, it's called Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. I'm not bored, I'm excited. Damn. Okay, so that was Ariana Grande's new album. Thank you, Next. And I loved it, of course. I really like this album. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. It's gonna be makeup related, probably. It, it will be. So yeah, bye guys. Bye.